So check it, Bitcoin jumps 17% since yesterday. Uh, it's literally like the last, I don't know, 12 hours. Pretty crazy. It actually took a little bit back, kind of self-corrected itself. Uh, on just on Coinbase, I'm looking over here. You know, it's 12% up currently. It was up 17. It was over $8,600 here. Um, and just today, right? If we look at the peak there, it was almost $8,700. And uh, yesterday, I actually bought my Bitcoin back at $7,300. So that was a really, really sweet little, uh, you know, gain. And uh, just in the last hour, it's already going up like 1%. It's up here. Uh, might take a little uh, self-correction here. So here's the article that I found on what's going on. Bitcoin price jumps over 1K, actually. They're saying 1K after Carney tells G20 crypto does not pose risk. So there was a, a Bank of England governor and head of the Financial Stability Boards, Mark Carney, told G20 members that crypto assets do not pose risks to the world economy in a letter dated March 13th, reported Sunday 18th, which was a few days later. The letter was addressed to G20 finance ministers and central bank governors who were gathered for the summit in Argentina starting Tuesday, March 20, which is tomorrow from the time you're recording this. And it currently dispels the idea that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have adverse effect on the financial security. So responding to the concerns of the members. So uh, basically, that uh, is probably one of the big uh, factors that caused the Bitcoin to jump. And uh, we might see it go as far as $900, uh, maybe before it self corrects itself. Uh, who knows? Maybe it'll start to kind of uh, it'll start to kind of retrace its steps from here on. So at this point, it did take uh, up to 17% leap, and it already fell back to uh, just about 13 or so. So it fell back a few percent, right? But um, not not really bouncing. I mean, it's not really uh, going too bearish. It's just kind of self-correcting from its, you know, big spike. We'll see what it does. Uh, I think it's an amazing time to really keep a close eye on Bitcoin. We'll see what it does at this time. I am still holding my Bitcoin like here, my GDAX. It's pretty cool actually, just uh, trading Bitcoin against my USD. I started with about 5%, which was 0.05, okay? And now it's 0 0.062, which is like over 25% or something gain. And this is like in the last two weeks that I've just been, you know, kind of watching Bitcoin, the news, and trading back and forward and then watching some signals from some other experts that are you know predicting what they're predicting so at this time I'm holding my Bitcoin uh, I think it might go a little higher before it might take another little dip so uh, you know either way Bitcoin is I think underpriced at this time and um, considering it did jump over a thousand dollars which is you know over 10 percent in one day it could self-correct itself, like it kind of did already, but it might, you know, kind of level off there uh, before it starts going back up. But we'll see what it does. You know, uh, I think it's it's pulled back a little bit, but it's it's pretty uh, pretty comfortable where it is above eight thousand. So I think we might start seeing it actually grow up here pretty uh, pretty soon and bounce back. So I'll watch it. I'll keep you updated for what I'm doing at this time. I'm keeping my investment in my Bitcoin, right? So I bought back. Um, yesterday or the day before who knows like seventy three hundred dollars or so so that was a pretty nice uh, you know uh, gain since then and uh, with that being said that's what I have for you today be sure to stay subscribed stay connected I'll put a link in my description where you can get a full education on cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and the best ways where you can position yourself and gain profits from whether it's trading mining just holding uh, participating in new ICOs, which are new cryptocurrencies, all that will be in there. And um, our education center is evolving. At least um, it's it's been getting me some really good returns, and it's a great way to position yourself to be a part of something that's backed by Bitcoin cryptocurrencies, and you stay uh, up to date on the latest news. But check it out, what's going on? So you know, I can refresh this uh, coin market cap over here. Currently, Bitcoin is still up 11 percent. Ethereum 8, Ripple up 16%. Pretty cool if you held Ripple. Yesterday, it was like 55 cents. The site dipped that low and I'm like, oh, it's going to bounce back pretty hard. <laughs> and it looks like it's doing so. Uh, Bitcoin Cash bounced back a little harder than Bitcoin. Well, actually, no, Bitcoin is about 1% above.
Cardano. Uh, look at this EOS. If you're holding this coin, snap right there, right? Sell and cash in now before it uh, goes back down. Qtum, right? 50% craziness, right? So we've seen a lot of green in the marketplace. Pretty awesome, pretty exciting, especially if you're holding some of these coins that are just, you know, in the green like crazy. Like I have some auger. Uh, so that was against the Bitcoin, right? You know, probably like uh, close to 10% gain. Cardano against Bitcoin, 13%. You know, EOS, Stellar, pretty, pretty cool. And uh, let's see, let's see, QTOM, right? 34% above Bitcoin. Icon there. So some of these are really, really doing very well, right? So if you're trading these against Bitcoin, Q coin shares are doing pretty good. Money coin, not too familiar with that one. Yeah, so Dragon Coin, I was kind of watching that one actually. It, uh, Came back pretty strong here. I uh, didn't invest into it in time, but I'll keep an eye on that one. And uh, Nucleus Division, I'm holding this one too. That's 12% above Bitcoin today. But it did take a major, major dip. So it's still kind of like in the red for me from where I bought it, uh, considering, you know, Bitcoin also went up. So it needs to recover a little more uh, from where it's at there. And I'll probably sell it then for a profit. So that's, you know, so pretty, pretty, pretty exciting stuff. I mean, um, on the trending, there's like, I think a few new cryptocurrencies that just launched. Uh, this one, uh, I don't think I mentioned this one yet in the last three days, higher match. And also uh, today or yesterday, uh, Dropil and Banka, I guess that's how you say it, right? These three cryptocurrencies just launched. So if you're holding these in the ICO phase, remember, they always come out the strongest and um, they usually start to go down in the next week or so as soon as they hit the market. So uh, I would at least sell some of your holding if, you're, if you bought these in the ICO phase. Otherwise, we'll see what those do and what those bring to the marketplace. Uh, they're not worth much right now, but whatever you got, um, especially higher match, as you can see, went up 9%, right? This Fluz Fluz up 40%, crazy. That just launched four days ago. I would so sell this right now because it's going to go down when it spikes up that hard. Usually uh, a new cryptocurrency that's pretty common, they'll jump like this and then a week later they'll start to retrace. Like these are doing, they're still up, they're lead coin, ship chain. Um, Bitcoin private bounced back guys, pretty, pretty sweet. Um, it, it was down there for a while. So uh, yeah, like, you know, any of these that are like way up there. I would watch them close because they're probably going to retrace their steps and dip again. So it might be a good idea to sell some of your holding. Otherwise, um, if you're if you're looking to invest, you know, I would uh, I would wait. I would wait because everything's in the green. Everything went up pretty hard, right? So when everything jumps like that and the and it's in the green, I would wait to invest because I'll wait till this retraces a little bit, right? Like wait till tomorrow, see what happens. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Like, you know, some people, they panic sell when everything's in the red, which is a bad idea, right? When things are in the dip, they're going for a dip, hold it and wait for it to go up. When things are in the green, people get excited, you know, and they start like, oh, we should buy this. Ripple's jumping. But you don't want to, I mean, it's still low, right? But I'm not buying Ripple today because I would have bought Ripple yesterday, right? Uh, but uh, today, it just jumped. It just spiked above Bitcoin, which is... Pretty uncommon considering Bitcoin has been above Ripple for a while now. It's been hard to trade Ripple against Bitcoin for for quite a while now, actually. So this is um, this could mean it's just starting to come bounce back strong. Um, who knows? You know, usually when it's in the green, it could stay in the green for a couple of few days before it starts to self-correct itself. But I'm thinking I would hold my position and I'll wait for these. Like if you're holding Cardano. You know, I'm holding some Cardano. It's up 26%. It's pretty good, right? I might consider selling it, but we'll see. Um, you know, it's all, all about when you bought it and when you're selling it, you want to make sure you're in a profit. So you're having more Bitcoin returning to you, right? Than you put into it. Yeah. Otherwise, like Ripple, I think, you know, took a major dip actually too. So it does have a lot of recovering to do. Um, I think Ethereum took the biggest loss as a recent, like if I go for the past month, look at this, Litecoin down 31% for the last month, Ethereum down 
okay? And Bitcoin Cash, 36, a little more than Litecoin, and Bitcoin down 21, right? In the past week, Bitcoin's down 10%, Bitcoin Cash, 10, Litecoin, 12, Ethereum down 23. So Ethereum has a lot of recovering to do. I think it's going to bounce back pretty hard here. In fact, I bought Ethereum yesterday for like $475. So it's already coming back, which is pretty cool. Uh, still not a bad time to start buying up some Ethereum. It's low. It's down. I mean, it's uh, even even today, right? Um, it's uh, it's up 11%. Well, it's, it's pretty much right there with everything. Um, not much above Bitcoin, right? In fact, Bitcoin's up more, a little one more than like one percent. But Ethereum took the biggest dip, you know, for its whole time, considering it was like, you know, thirteen hundred dollars. Now it's like five hundred dollars, and it was four hundred something yesterday. So I think it will start to bounce back. So it might not be a bad idea to hold some Ethereum. Um, as far as anything else, you know, I'll just I'll just watch it because see, Ethereum didn't bounce back that hard yet, so it has a lot of recovering to do. Um, some of these, like Litecoins, hasn't bounced back too hard. Cardano's bouncing back pretty tough, right? You know, uh, Ripple jumped back fast. So I would wait, let it, let it take another little kind of self-correction. You know, then pick some up probably like at 60 cents or something. Now, I think it'll just a matter of a day or two before it does that. And uh, with Bitcoin, like I said, I bought it low. I bought it like right here, okay? I bought it like at the very, very bottom here yesterday. And um, right here, I would, I would, it might go up a little more and do one of these, right? So I would, I would kind of hold your position. Is it a good time to buy? It's never a bad time to buy considering Bitcoin will eventually, you know, uh, regain its 20000 and go to 100000 in the next few years, right? For long term, it's never a bad time to buy, right? For short term trading, you know, would I buy at $84,500? I'll wait. I'll wait till it kind of self-corrects itself, maybe a little bit, or at least see what it's doing uh, later today, and then uh, kind of make a decision. If it looks like it's, uh, it might like retrace a couple hundred dollars, and it looks like it's starting to uh, go back up. I'll, you know, I would buy it maybe then. But for now, it's pretty much at today's peak. For today, it's at like at its peak. You know, if we go for today, right, and Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, it's all time high for today was like 85, actually went as far as 8,600, right? But it started, it started low. It started like at 7,800 and below that, right? Then it was kind of leveling off at early 8,000. So I'd say it's kind of up there. I would, I could maybe wait a little bit. If I was to buy Bitcoin, I would wait and let it kind of, uh, retrace a little bit and then or make a little correction and then like grab it then but again for long term it's not a bad time to buy now uh, I did buy it much lower I did get some gain but I'm still holding it because I think it might start to go up a little more um, and uh, we'll uh, go from there so that being said that's what I have for you today uh, be sure to subscribe stay tuned and um, as far as what the news are telling us or what you know what caused Bitcoin to go up you know, it did take a massive, you know, jump. However, it is still in recovery. Like it, it you know, it's low, you know, it's low. Considering to where it was, it's, uh, you know, it was close to $19,000, like end of 2017. And uh, right now it's, it's, it's more than 50% down, right? From that point. So uh, yeah, with that being said, I, you know, I think uh, Bitcoin will start to bounce back here pretty soon. It's hard to say still when exactly or is it going to drop from here again before it bounces back. But for now, we're, we're going to watch it and we'll see what happens, right? Otherwise, I will see you, my friend, in the next video. So stay subscribed, stay tuned. Let me know what you think in the comments and we'll talk soon.